Aloha. I got to quit scratching my head when things start. It's like, mm, okay, that's probably not what good theater is supposed to be. But this ain't theater. This is just me talking to you. So I guess I can scratch my, my head if I want, right? Okay. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, October 27th, 2023. I'm Pastor Keith still from Mililani Town here on Oahu. And uh, yeah, Titus. We're a, a reading from Titus, who was um, a co-worker with Paul uh, I think a, a, a follower of Paul in uh, proclaiming the gospel to the Greeks. And Paul is writing a short three-chapter letter to him. And here's a couple of verses from the second chapter. Show yourself in all respects a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censured. Then any opponent who will be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good works. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one look down on you. Well, a couple of things come to mind as I read through this, and one of them is that Titus, along with Timothy, was a, a co-worker with Paul, younger, had a lot to learn from Paul, um, may have been, with a name like Titus, may have actually been a Greek Christian. And uh, Paul is calling him, having experienced the grace of God coming to him through Jesus, Paul is saying to him now as a pastor in the early church, uh, walk with, uh, uh, be a model of good work right? And uh, let let no one look down on you. Ah, he's too young. They don't say that about me anymore. But they say, ah, he's too young. No, no. Declare the grace of God that it has appeared among us, bringing salvation for all. And what also rings true in this is that we all have a baptismal vocation in the church. We all have a calling to see Jesus in those in need, to be Jesus to those who are in need, including our own families, our friends, our neighbors, and people we don't have a clue who they are. We're all called to be pastors. Epule Kako, let us pray. Gracious Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Fill it with all truth and peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in need, provide for it. Where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. So, Go forth into this day, a baptized priest of God. You are the priests. Bring Jesus to those in need. Jesus will guide you. Jesus will protect you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>